Digital Energy Festival and in Africa. Today, in my presentation, the topic is externally gap line arrestors. But first, please let me introduce myself. My name is Ami Oshima, and I'm an engineer for surgery arrestors. This is content of my today's presentation. First, I'd like to talk about our surgery arrestors. Then, I'd like to focus on external gap line arrestors, and we can call it EGLA or EGLA. We will consider the lightning protection briefly. Then, I will talk about some experience of EGLA in Japan. Finally, I will show our lineup of our EGLA. This slide shows the lineup of our surgery arrestors. This is GIS type surgery arrestors for substations. This is porcelain type surgery arrestors and polymer type surgery arrestors for substation. This is transmission line arrestors. It has a series gap. So, it is called externally gap line arrestors. We also manufacture the surge arrestors for railway systems and distribution systems. And we are also manufacturing the metal oxide blocks in our factory, Japan. We have a lot of experience of surge arrestors. Today, I would like to talk about the transmission line arrestors especially EGLA. This is our supply experience of surgery arrestors, AIS type and GIS type. We have supplied to many countries all over the world. We started the surgery arrestor business in 1911. It is more than 100 years ago. And in 1978, we started to supply the gapless type surgery arrestors and it has been going on for over 40 years. Now, I will move on to the next section and I'd like to talk about externally gap line arrestors, EGLA. This is an EGLA for 77 kV systems and for 66 kV and 154 kV. They are for domestic uses. And for overseas, this is for 170 kV, and this is for 220 kV. EGLA is relatively new technology. First edition of IEC standards 6099-8 was published in 2011. It is about only 10 years ago. This slide shows the lightning flash in the world. Here is Africa, and here is Japan. You can see that there are a lot of lightning in Japan, but much more in Africa. It can be, uh, it can be said that power transmission systems have been always put in danger caused by lightning. This slide shows the causes of service faults on power transmission lines. The data is referred from the lightning measurement in Japan. From this data, it can be understood that more than 40% of power outage is caused by lightning. So, effective countermeasure against the lightning is highly required. This slide shows countermeasures against lightning stroke. Firstly, putting resistance of towers should be reduced. Next, grounding wire should be equipped and the duplicated grounding wires are desirable. Third one, the differential insulation systems are also effective. It means that one circuitable double circuit lines must be protected. This graph shows how double circuit fault can be prevented by each countermeasure respectively. And lightning protection by this method is not 100%. However, 
When applying transmission line arresters, lightning flash over rate becomes 0%. From this data, we can say that transmission line arrester has the best, best effectiveness. Next, I'd like to talk about the effectiveness of EGLA. We can compare the tripod rate before and after installation of EGLA. This is the configuration of arrestor installation. There is no arrestor and the arrestors are installed on every phase of one circuit of double circuit lines. Before installation, there occurred the double circuit ports on both lines. But after installation of EGLA, no ports occurred on the arrestor installed line and double circuit port did not occur. That is the effectiveness of EGLA. Next, I'd like to explain EGLA. This is the basic configuration of EGLA. This is the insulator strings, and here are arrestor units, and non-linear non zinc oxide blocks are in this arrestor unit. Here is the series gap, and this is the feature of EGLA. This series gap is designed to operate against lightning over voltage and designed to withstand switching over voltage and TOB. This series gap is designed to operate against lightning over voltage, so flash over at insulators can be avoided. And this series gap is designed to withstand switching over voltage and TOB. Power supply can be kept if the arrestor unit fails. This is the cross section of arrestor unit and metal oxide blocks in it. These metal oxide blocks are directly molded with silicon rubber. The metal oxide blocks have the two times higher reference voltage compared to usual ones. Then, lightweight and compact design of a raster unit can be achieved. Next, I'd like to explain the principle of operation of EGLA. When lightning strikes to the tower top or ground wires, the voltage across the insulators arise, and the flashover between the gaps occur. And then the voltage is suppressed by the arrestor unit, and polar current will be interrupted immediately. Trip out on circuit with EGLA can be prevented in this way. This is the testing view, and you can see the flashover between gaps. This is oscillograms of the test, and the polar current is interrupted in a half cycle. As I mentioned earlier, I'd like to explain the operation of EGLA. In the case that EGLA is not equipped, lightning strikes to the tower top or ground wires, the voltage across the insulators arises, and the flashover occurs. Then, the power supply will be interrupted. But, if EGLA is equipped, lightning strikes to the tower top or ground wires, the voltage across the insulators arise, and the flashover between the gaps occur. And then, the voltage is suppressed by the arrestor unit, and the follow current will be interrupted immediately. Trip out on circuit with EGLA can be prevented in this way. There are two types in transmission line arresters, gapless type and gap type EGLA. For gapless type, we have to consider about the duties of lightning over voltage, switching over voltage, and power frequent over voltage. So, the gapless type line arrestor becomes large and heavy. 
and it is always energized, so we have to consider the deterioration of the metal oxide blocks. Also, this connector is necessary in case that the resistor unit fails. But in the case of EGLA, we only have to consider the duty of lightning over voltage. So, the compact and lightweight design is achieved. Due to the series gap, a resistor unit is not energized during the operation. So, we do not need to consider the deterioration of the metal oxide blocks. And even when the arrestor unit fails, power supply can be kept. It's because the gaps can work as usual arc holes. So, we strongly recommend externally gap line arrestor. EGLA. Next, I'd like to talk about the disadvantages of gapless line arresters. Gapless line arresters have some disadvantages. The swing of the arrestor due to the wind will cause the damage of the conductor. The disconnector itself will get aging. Liquid wire will get worn out by vibration due to the wind. Gapless line arresters have some risks of failure due to the structures. This is our supply experience of EGLA. We have supplied EGLA to Korea, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia, and we have supplied to Zambia in Africa. Now, we are talking about France with Australia, Saudi Arabia, and Turkey. Now, applications of EGLA has been expanding rapidly. Finally, I would like to show the lineup of our EGLA. We cover EGLA applicable system voltage up to 500 kV and our star classification of class by 4. The short circuit performance of our EGLA is very high and it is more than 63 kA. I'd like to conclude by making following points. Number one, EGLA is relatively new technology. Applications of EGLA has been expanding very quickly. Number two, there are two types of transmission line arrestors. EGLA is highly recommended, much better than gap, gapless type. Number three, we have the supply experience of EGLA up to 500 kV systems. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for your kind attention.